oil pulling. What is it and is it any good? I'm often asked by people, what is oil pulling? Well, it's a way of keeping your dental area very clean and lively. And it's an old Ayurvedic practice. And you can do it after you've cleaned your teeth or you can do it in the middle of the day when you've just eaten something. It helps cleanse the mouth. The mouth is a place that is under attack from bacteria all the time. When you eat food, there's bacteria on the food. And the first line of defense in your gut is your mouth, naturally. And your teeth chomp away and bite and slice. And there's residue left in the mouth. Lots of and acid-loving bacteria form there. Uh, they want the plaque and they want the tartar that build up around your mouth and gums and they also attack the teeth. So you can have infections in your mouth. You may have infected teeth, you may have damaged fillings, you may have problems with the root canal that's broken its seal. So there can be infection in the mouth. And of course, if you do have infection in the mouth, you need to see a professional to have it fixed. One of the ways of preventing infection and help treating infection is oil pulling. What is it? Well, after you've cleaned your teeth, you take a, or in midday, if you can't be able to clean your teeth, you take some oil and you put it on a teaspoon. I say a teaspoon because that's a good size to have in your mouth. If you have too much in your mouth, it's difficult to swish the oil between your teeth. So you put the oil on the teaspoon and you put it into your mouth and you breathe through your nose. Keep your mouth closed and you start to swish the oil between the teeth. So you are mm, mm, mm -hmm. forward, pushing it through the lower teeth, drawing it back through, pushing it through the upper teeth, drawing it back through, tilting your head a bit to one side mm, and just drawing it to and fro the teeth and the other side. And keep doing that from anything for five to 20 minutes. And what it does is it loosens the debris in between your teeth. Uh, the plaque, the tartar, the build-up, the unwanted uh, debris in your mouth. What it also does is help draw out unwanted bacteria in your mouth because bacteria don't particularly react to water. Water is aquaphilic, it likes water, but bacteria have an outside shell which is lipophilic, so it likes lipids, oil substances. And an oil attracts oil. Water doesn't attract oil. Oil attracts oil. So it helps bring out some of the bacteria in your mouth into the fluid in your mouth, the oil in your mouth. And you keep doing that for about mm, anything from 5 to 20 minutes. And eventually you spit out the oil. Don't swallow it. Spit out the oil. Now you can spit it into a bin a receptacle which is then covered or you if it's uh, an unsaturated oil you can spit it into the toilet swish your mouth out with some water afterwards and also spit that out just to clean your mouth out so your mouth can be a hive of infection and oil pulling helps clean the mouth you, the infection that's in your mouth, the bacteria in your mouth, the danger with infection and bacteria is that they go into the blood system through that uh, pussy wound, through the infection in your mouth. And then that bacteria causes secondary problems within the body. For instance, endocarditis, inflammation and infection within one of the valves and the heart tissue and also joint problems as well. You may remember you went to a dentist and the dentist was very clear if they did a filling or a root canal that they needed to make sure that the infection didn't go into your bloodstream. 
If you swallow those bacteria, then your stomach acid is very, very strong. It's a very low pH and it's designed to kill those bacteria. But in your blood, they may not get killed. So it's important that you try not to swallow as much of the oil as you can, although first of all, when you start doing it, you do swallow the oil. <laughs> and, but if you do swallow a little bit, then the acid in your stomach really, really helps kill that bacteria. It's what the acid in the stomach is partly designed to do. Now, there's lots of research on oil pulling. Some of it is not very good. Some of it tells you that it cures all sorts of diseases and there's no evidence of that. But there is good research, dental research, that shows you that it really improves the condition of your teeth and your mouth and certainly your gums. You'll find after you've been oil pulling for a, a week or two weeks that your gums are quite nice and pink. They're, they're stronger and they're healthier. Uh, it's really quite good and if you have an infection from your mouth area that's leaking into your body and causing you problems, that's clearing up the source of the infection. Also, it may be drawing out infection from uh, pockets within the gum areas into the fluid which you are uh, swishing around your mouth. And that allows blood to come through that part of the, the face and push up into the vacancy that's just been created. And the white blood cells can get to work and start to fight the infection in that area. So oil pulling is really very good. I, I, I quite like it. Now what oil will you use? Well, one of the basic oils I tell people to use is olive oil. And that's virgin, cold-pressed, organic olive oil. Why not ordinary kitchen oil or refined oil? Because olive oil, organic, first pressing, cold pressing, is very medicinal. It has your omega-3s, your omega-6s, and if you have pain in your mouth, it has omega-9, which also helps block pain. And if you swallow it, then it is actually good for you. It's not detrimental for you, it's very good for you. Uh, for a standard oil, I, I tend to use olive oil with lemon in it. Uh, you can get it infused with lemon because lemon uh, encourages saliva in your mouth to mix with the oil. And saliva is very protective to the teeth. It's, a, it's wonderful for the teeth. And it gets your saliva glands going. When you start oil pulling, you may swallow some of it. But try and tip your head forward a bit. And you swish it in the bottom teeth and then your top teeth. Up to the side up here and up to the side up there twice a day for normal use is, is quite good but if you have an infection maybe 20 minutes for three times a day. Also in the kind of what you have in the oil it depends on what your needs are. For instance if you have an infection an oil infused with garlic is very good because garlic is very anti-infective and helps kill bacteria. Or if you want fresh breath, you might have an oil infused with uh, mint, uh, peppermint, mint, so that it just gives your breath a, a, a nice fresh smell and flavour. So do try oil pulling. I do recommend it. I think it's a very good thing. Take care for now. See you later.